One lawmaker in Lansing introduced new legislation this week that's designed to increase government transparency. Our L. Myers joins us from the state capitol with more on this bill and also the consequences it outlines. State Representative Mike Harris introduced new legislation earlier this week that he says aims to increase government transparency. If passed, it would prohibit the use of coded language in government communications. There was an email that we were made aware of that was requested by FOIA. Now, apparently this email was not searchable because a portion of it was in Greek. And when the email finally was disclosed, um, they translated the Greek letters into a little paragraph regarding the Flint water crisis. And I believe there was a relatable section uh, comparing the Benton Harbor water issue going on. He's talking about this email here sent back in 2021. Further reporting by the Detroit Free Press found that the partial change in language in the email does happen. It's a tech glitch you might see when looking at emails on different platforms. You know, whether this was nefarious or accidental really makes no difference. It's it's made us aware of a potential issue and we want to make sure that we fix that issue so people going forward can feel a little bit more confident that their government's not hiding things from them. The bill Harris introduced on Wednesday would amend the state's Freedom of Information Act laws to prohibit the use of coded language, foreign characters, or, quote, any other content that would conceal the meaning of the document. Failure to do so would result in... It's a 90-day misdemeanor with a $1,000 fine, up to a $1,000 fine. Now, the governor's office declined to comment on this new bill, and a spokeswoman for the Michigan House Democrats told me in an email this legislation is, quote, a political stunt used to purposefully spread misinformation about an issue that's already been addressed, end quote. Reporting in Lansing, I'm Elmire, CBS News, Detroit.